Hello and welcome to episode 49 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orion. I was an absolute numpty yesterday. Four hours wasted. I got through it all and didn't record. But we're back here now! Having to forget the Europa Conference final that Bobby Monk scored four headers in. I'm not even joking. The conference! Da -da 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 -da. What we're gonna do this episode, we're going from June 2027, probably to August 2030. I would think maybe 2031. I've got a notepad with all the potentials that I wanna see on the players. And we're gonna try our very best to make the players hit those potentials. I've just realized that I haven't applied the kit mod, but that's fine because I don't think we're gonna be playing games. Like I said at the end of last episode, we're gonna look through at the season stats before heading on to a new season. Top appearance maker is Tembo, outfielder, is uh, Sosa Tembo also has the most clean sheets, but 10 clean sheets in 49 appearances is not that great. Let's be honest, DR. 33 goals for Bobby Monk and 20 for Panda 2020. Sabali so got more assists in the end. That's pretty incredible. Might have got the uh, top assist maker. We'll have a check on that. In the top six, we got four of the top assist makers. Tembo in seventh for clean sheets. I mean, it could be way worse, I guess. I can't really hide it for much longer. Zeferino and Zanzo is not happy at the club and he hasn't been happy since Yasin Hassan's been here. I think it's because he was sitting behind Yasin Hassan with all them terrible, terrible performances that he's got to this stage. And I've tried changing his attitude, changing that status, and it's not happening. So I'm kind of conceding defeat on Zeferino and Zanza. We do need another left back. We'll have a few squad reports this episode as well, so you can keep track of these players' development. So Tembo is a 73. Yuan Tang is a 64. Yu Rong Dong is a 59. Dadashov is a 64. Samba Sol is a 68. Zeferino and Zanza is a 74. And Sol Pereira is a 74. Scott Cleaves is a 55. And I cannot wait to see him play as like an 80 overall. That's going to be incredible. What a glow up. I can't wait. Sam Lewis, 70. Overall, Lewis Proctor, 71. Severin Colombo at 74. Colin Campbell at 69. Courtney Scott, 74. Samuel Peppel, 62. Ramu Ram, 57. And that's Ruben Lorauri at 72. Even Ramu Ram was higher overall than Scott Cleves. <sighs> Romeo Nantenina at 69. Ronnie Forrest, 66. Filippo Sampras, 68. Gonzalo Avila at 58. Lucas Thompson at 64. Bustamante is 71. Bruno Sosa, 75. Jesse Fraser, 72. Godwin Orji, 74. Till Bender, 61. Jean Paul Zabali, 70. Henry Yomba at 72. Uh, Tommy Lemon is at 64. Amit Panda flying up to 75. Bobby Monk at 73. And Who Willems at the end there at 56 let's get on with the new season and now that we've hit the premier league i want us to relocate to a brand new stadium east point arena and we are renaming the stadium in memory of uh sam fisher uh, we're gonna name it the sponge stadium because sponge was his nickname to his close friends our capacity is now 53,600. And 81. Jesus, uh, happy with that. There'll be transfer offers imminently for Zeferino and Zanza. What is the budget? 45.4 million. We are going to look up, see if there's any decent left backs on the free agents list. We might have to buy one from a different club. I was looking at a Brazilian left back before checking out Issa Mbaye in the free agent to centre back, but he is short and left footed. So he's probably better off just becoming a left back. And overall, it'd be far cheaper. Not to mention the fact that he's 85 overall. Yeah, I'll accept the £44,000 in wages. I think we've also got to think about getting the rest of the squad up to Premier League wages. Handshakes all around. Issa Mbaye is a Leighton Orient player. These lads are going to get a serious payday now. 
Yomba's on 40k. Bobby Monk on 52. Oh, that's a lot for Amit Panda. 61k, but I don't think it'll be as much as Bruno Sosa. No, 61k. They're exactly the same. So they're the highest earning players at the club. Yeah, so when I go and try and re-sign in Zanza, we delegate renewal. This club isn't open to renewing his contract, so I've got three years with him. But three years will be simulating. I can't expect this team to get to the overalls I want them to reach in two seasons. That's not going to happen. Now, I tried to finesse it yesterday. I stuck the potentials that I wanted to see them at. Some reached those potentials, some didn't because their growth has been massively stunted by the dynamic potential in this game. So... It's probably a small to move just to put everybody's potential at 99, double the experience points, and then drop the players off that crazy growth as soon as they get near their final overall. Or we'll probably should put the manager rating up at 99 as well. I mean, we are going into the Premier League with a very weak squad simulating it. We're probably going to get relegated. We don't want Radu Flocker getting sacked from Leighton Orient again. Norwich have expressed an interest in signing Zeferino and Zanza for a fee of 14.3 million pounds we could get around 20 million for him uh, so let's negotiate 17.1 yeah fine meet in the middle somewhere zeferino and zanza has made his way to norwich so we start our premier league adventure august the 15th 2027 it's actually a sunday game probably televised against Leicester city you'd think it'd be televised to be honest what a shambolic start to the season Home against Leicester, away against Spurs, home against Chelsea. Then Manchester United follows. Everything's in order. We're now going to do the big simulation for the season. I mean, it started amazing. Leicester City first game. We actually won that. Four goals to one. One entry to the Premier League. Unfortunately, from that point, we have not won a Premier League game. It is a mighty shame that we've had to cut the series a little short because this season would have been absolutely immense trying to survive stay up in the premier league with a team that wasn't good enough overall wise it's a good job that we've given radu flock a 99 on the manager rating we've not done a derby i think we've accumulated about 20 or so points 19 oh let's see the stats for this atrocious campaign top appearance maker amit panda with 44 most goals bobby monk 15 just the 15 assist Bruno Sosa with 10 and clean sheets. Boy, oh boy. Tembo got one clean sheet in the Premier League. We're going back down to the championship, boys, but oh, we are going to smash it down there. Here's a squad report for you. Ziap Tembo is 78. Yuan Tang is 68. Uh, Yu Rong Dong is at 64. Omar Dadashov is 67 samba soul 70 soul pereira 77 scott cleaves is at 59 sam lewis 73 issa mbai 87 lewis proctor 75 severin colombo 77 colin campbell 75 courtney scott 78 samuel peppel 67 ramu ramat 61 ruben larauri 75 Romeo Nantanina, 72. Ronnie Forrest, 69. Filipos Sampras, 74. Gonzalo Avila, 62. Lucas Thompson, 68. Pepe Bustamante, 75. Bruno Sosa, 81. Jesse Fraser is 74. Godwin Orgy goes up to 79. Till Bender, 64. Jean Paul Sabali, 75. Henry Yomba, 77. Tommy Lemon, 70. Amit Panda, now an 81 overall striker. Bobby Monk, 79. And who villains at 59? Colin Campbell's pace is absolutely terrifying at 91. And by his crossing's gone up to 61. It's getting there. There's no surprise here. Championship winners on 108 points. Stats first top appearance, Tembo and Mbaye. Have 53 games, most goals. Oh, Bobby Monk, 33. I think that's one higher than his last stint in the championship. Most assists, Bruno Sosa, 
with 11 and clean sheets. Tembo 18, Scott 18, a lot on 18. And now for the squad report, Tembo's an 84, Tang 71, Yu Rong Dong. 67, Omar Dadashov, 72, Samba Sol, 73, Sol Pereira, 82, Scott Cleave, 63, he's in the 60s, go on lad, Sam Lewis, 77, Issa Mbaye, 88, Luis Proctor, 77, Severine Colombo, 81, Colin Campbell at 79, with 94 pace, Courtney Scott, 84, Samuel Peppel, 70, Ramu Ram, 65, Ruben Larauri, 81, Romeo Nantanina, 76, Ronnie Forrest, 72, Filippo Sampras, 77, I mean, Sampras is growing lovely, by the way, Avia, 65, Lucas Thompson, 71, Buster Mante has gone up to 80, Bruno Sosa, is absolutely smashing it, 87, but then again, I mean, his stat line for the last two seasons kind of determined that. Jesse Fraser's a 78, Godwin Orgy, 83, Till Bender, 67, Jean-Paul Sabali is 80, Henry Yomba is 82, Tommy Lemon, 73, Amit Panda is 88, oh, Jesus! Uh, the stats, Bobby Monk, 87, and who, Willem, 63. There's a few there that definitely need to be taken off this insane growth, but that brute force worked an absolute charm. It took me so much longer yesterday to get through the first two seasons. We've just given Amit Panda a new bumper contract of 210k a week. Looks like is gonna reach left back in about 43 weeks but his crossing's only at 64. I'm getting worried. Overall might have been so high to begin with that we couldn't really mould him from centre-back to left-back. Apparently, Mbaye's been approached by Leicester City. I want to see this transfer offer. It's £94.7 million, but it... It suggested that we could push up to 130. 110 with a 5% sell-on clause. Has anyone ever seen a sell-on clause? I've never seen a sell-on clause, but I'll accept. Just being reminded that we should put Jean-Paul Sabali back to training up as a striker with so much money at our disposal. We've got a transfer budget of £123.3 million and also the Mbaye money to come. I mean, we can get the best left back in the world well regen wise anyway and i wonder who that could be it's probably the most intelligent play here to just save the game up and check on fifa tracker there's no one better than mbaye unless we call up zeferino and zanza and plead for him to come back i mean norwich are no better sorry they want 99 and 28 million for Nzanza. what have they been smoking 48 million take it or leave it and get back in here zeferino I am inevitable. We've replaced Zeferino and Zanza with Zeferino and Zanza. I mean, the agent is like, what's just happened? Why is this a thing? And Zanza seems happy about it. I mean, he's getting paid. Now it's the time for a little finesse, just to make sure that certain players are not going soaring over their desired potentials. I don't want all the team to be at 90 overall, although it would be amazing, wouldn't it? The first team as a flying and Sabali should be able to change to a striker, move up to 85 overall. Yes, I've seen a comment recently. Behind the scenes, we have been doing some development plans, okay? So we've been trying to tweak the players to make them more specialized. Sampras, ball-winning midfielder, for instance. It's time to concentrate on the one struggling. It's time to put a little bit of love into Scott Cleaves. We really are getting there now. Scott Cleaves is nearly a 70. Yomba's decided to go to 89, even though that wasn't the plan. Dadashov has reached his potential. Dadashov! He probably still doesn't know how to defend. Don't worry, Scott, we got you, buddy. Why is Yomba at 90? We have got his shot power up after developing him as a centre forward. Very overpowered Sampras from out of nowhere. Have we never tried Sampras at left back? 
because that could absolutely work. These mother <laughs> just don't stop growing. Once they get the taste for it, they're like, oh, I like that. Why is Jumper at 91? We have managed to calm down Sampras, which is good news. We can do the same to Tommy Lemon. The only person that should be at 93 is Tembo. Maybe Nanta Niner at a push. Now Scotty Cleve's getting on. 76 overall. Not good enough. More! Where's that come from? I have officially lost control. That dude who loves Lucas Thompson will be like, finally, he's got the recognition he deserves. It's fair to say, somewhere along the line, Lucas Thompson got busted. Season ends with uh, Lane Orion on 61.7th place. I don't really want to go through the stats, to be honest, because... I think that we're going to have to do this season again for obvious reasons. I mean, look at the state of it. Something's clearly not right with Aaron Actu's live editor, but we'll see what we can do. I'll talk about the overalls of the players just for a laugh, but <laughs> just be aware these are not the final overalls, okay? Uh, Tembo's a 94, Tang's an 83, Dong's an 80, Dada Shuff's somehow got to 84, Sambasol 82, and Zanza 89, Pereira 89, Cleves 85, hey! Uh, Sam Lewis, 88. Proctor, 93. Severin Colombo, 93. Colin Campbell, 89. Yes, with the 99 pace. Lovely stuff. Uh, Courtney Scott, 88. Samuel Peppel, 89. Ramu Ram, 86. Ramu Ram, 86. Ruben Larari, 89. Romeo Nantanina at 94. Ronnie Forrest, 91. Sampras, 89. Via, 86. Thompson, 96. Buster Mante, 87. Sosa, 96. Jesse Fraser, 90. Godwin Orgy, 91. That is all broken. Till Bender, 88. Broken. Henry Yomba, 93. Lemon, 82. Amit Panda, 96. Bobby Monk, 95. John Balzabali, 92. Hooper Villains, 88. I mean, something has gone very wrong. I can only apologise. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay. <laughs> Right, everyone, I've started to calm the overalls down, okay? I think they're gonna stick, so we probably don't need to reload. But if we do need to reload because the overalls have just gone skyrocketing out of control, then that's absolutely fine. I wish we could have had a proper conclusion to this episode, but things certainly haven't gone right. I mean, Scott Cleaves was good before, and imagine what I can do with him now that he's actually got a decent overall. Next episode will be a where are they now episode, but because of what's happened here, we'll start that with a squad report of the overalls that have been fixed, competitive for Premier League, but not totally broken. All right, thank you ever so much for watching this crazy episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Help out Youth Squad Legends wherever you can by telling your friends and family or just watching the series again from the beginning. Helps out a bunch. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me on Patreon. Your adder players are coming very, very shortly. Take care. Bye bye.